we need to be extremely careful with how we're ventilating patients during CPR. Let me show you why. So we're gonna assume this patient is being continuously ventilated and we're saying that we're in a code situation. They're having CPR done on them. And so what I want you to pay particular attention to is the superior and inferior vena cavas of the heart here. So let's see what happens when we ventilate normally. I'm going a different rate just so I can get the point across. So you'll notice that there is some crowding around the superior inferior vena caves, but not much just because we're using normal volumes that don't put compression on those, those particular vessels. But let's see what happens when I overventilate and I ventilate too much. And look at how much more crowding there is around the superior inferior vena cava, and that's not what we want in a CPR situation. The whole point is perfusion, and the more compression and more pressure we put on the superior inferior vena cava, the less blood flow is gonna be able to pass through it into the right atrium and the right ventricle and perfuse the rest of the body as it moves through the heart. And so we wanna make sure we're being very cautious with ventilation during CPR, because if we overventilate, we could decrease blood supply back to the heart.